Hi folks, it's Ben from Tuesday Night Magic. We have got our first uh, Discord league coming up soon. And so I wanted to take a chance to show you how to use some digital tools to help playing your games over webcam. When you're playing over webcam, we're happy for people to use their paper decks with a webcam, proxy decks with a webcam, or in this case, to use a digital client of some sort and screen share to their opponent. Now, you can't just do a raw screen share from Discord, unfortunately, because you would show your hand to your opponent and you don't want that. So we're going to have to play around in OBS a little bit here, and it's going to help us share our game to our opponent without letting them see our hand. So what we got to do, first of all, is there's this start virtual webcam camera button. If we turn that on, uh, Discord or any client that cares about webcams, so spell table, Teams, Zoom, whatever you want, they're going to be able to see OBS as if it was a camera. You can just select it like you would the webcam that you have plugged in. That's great. But now we need to actually share our gameplay with our opponent. So I've already got a screen capture going here, but to add one yourself, you can click the plus and you can click on screen capture you'll get an option to share the entire screen or just share a specific window. It's up to you, whichever you want, but just be careful if you're sharing the entire screen in case you flash a password or something you didn't want the opponent to see. I'm gonna just delete that duplicate thing that I made there and we'll continue with the screen capture I've got. So if I jump over here to Moxfield, I've got my deck ready to go here and but my opponent doesn't have their deck online. They're gonna play in paper, no problem. So what I wanna do is I'll click play test here and we can see I've got my deck, I've got my hand ready to go, but my opponent can see this. So we want to add something to OBS that will hide this from our opponent, but that we can still play around with. So if I go back into OBS, I'm gonna just add something to put in the way. You could add an image if you want, but the easiest thing would be to add a color source. So I'll just call this a black bar and we'll give it a color, make it black. It blends in a bit nicer with the thing that we're using and we can set the size of it. So we don't want it to take up the full screen. Let's make it take up about mm, just over half the screen and we'll make it about 200 pixels big because the little hand selector thing at the bottom of Moxfield is about that big. And so if I go back over to Moxfield, you should see that my cards are covered, but I can still click on them here in the browser and put bring them into play. I can draw cards, I can do whatever I want. And that's how you set up Moxfield to, so that you can play in the browser, but your opponent can't see your hand. If you want to enable this in Discord, you can go to your Discord settings under the bottom left, and under voice and video, you should see this option for a little test video. And you can turn that on and you can see exactly what your opponent would see. The video is going to be mirrored when you look at it in this preview, but it will look fine when it goes to your opponent. That's just a bit of a quirk of uh, doing things this way. If for some reason you want to show your opponent your hand, maybe they cast something like a thought sees, that's really easy too. You can just come back into OBS and click on the eye icon to remove the black bar. Go back to your browser, show them, there you go, there's my hand. And then you can turn it back on then again when you are, you know, start drawing fresh cards. Hope this helps and good luck in your games. Again, the sign up link is in the Discord server under the League channels and you can sign up anytime between now and October 31st with pairings going live November 1st. Thank you very much.